Well, if you remember the Harbor Breeze fan that I had in my office, I returned it because it was a piece of crap. And I had been searching for a fan. In the meantime, I had had the motor from a fan just up there with no blades. The wires were all exposed and resting on the motor with just a light bulb. Well, if you watched my previous video, you know that I tried to use a Casablanca Panama with IntelliTouch. If it were not IntelliTouch, I probably wouldn't have bought it because the Chrome was a turnoff. And the IntelliTouch had a problem, probably with the board. Sadly, that's about the highest quality fan you can get, minus maybe a Hunter Original, so I had to go with something cheaper. So I went to freaking Eaton Rapids, which I live in East Lansing, so if you know where that is, and bought a fan. Granted, this was a $10 fan and not a $50, or a $40, so save money. But I'm going to show you what it is. What this is, is a... J&P 42 inch spinner. Almost guarantee you this was sold at Kmart because J&P also made some CEC and SMC fans. Maybe not SMC, but CEC. This is basically the same thing as a CEC Georgian. I have a CEC Georgian new in box that is brown and it's basically this, just ventless and without a light kit. And this is a little bit bigger. This is 42 inch, that's 36. Single light. Top mount spinner, which I want. I like it. These are sort of childhood fans, sort of. I say that very loosely. When I was younger, as a kid, there, if you guys live in Michigan, you know where Uncle John's Cider Mill is in St. John's. There's a Habitat store right by there in St. John's that used to be different. They redid it about five years ago, but when I was really young, we stopped in there to use the bathroom, and they had a display with hanging fans, like this, not in a box. And one of the fans I remember seeing, the only one I honed in on as we were leaving, was something that looked very similar to this. I don't remember if it was stencil or whatever, or 52 inch. It had that motor. I remember seeing the vents and the top mounted blades and it had I think a three light kit. Um, it may have been on a longer down rod, it hung lower, it maybe have been a foot long, but it was, I don't remember if it was stencil, it might have been, but it was very, that's very interesting. I was always like, hmm, interesting fan. So when this popped up, it's like, okay, it'll work. It is a 42 inch, so you know, it's a little small for this room, but it'll work. The only thing about this fan, $10, it was $15, but I talked them down, is it has tremendous bearing noise. I need to oil it. I just don't know how, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. So I'll demonstrate it. Oh, before, it was very dusty when I got it, and it still, still is. I'll see if I can flash a picture of before. Okay. Let's see. Caution. Is that it? Nope. Let's see here. There is a, there's JMP right there. So this is a Kmart. Oh, sorry. Bumped my camera. It's almost certainly a Kmart. So. You're going to hear the bearing noise. I'll go ahead and I'll put it on low. There's the light. They gave me an included incandescent bulb. It does have a pretty quick low, which I'm not thrilled about. That is an original pull chain because my Georgian that's new in box except it's the same thing. Start going to start to hear the bearing noise. It gets worse though. Let's go to medium. Yeah. So we're going to have to get that fixed. Here's high. Yeah. Pretty bad. Does push some air though for a cheap fan. I mean, I can feel air directly under it, but that's about it. Does it in reverse, too, so it is a bearing problem.
I have a feeling there was a, a fob on that pull chain too, but it fell off because they're the same length. So, <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to uh, get some oil on that son of a bitch. But that is the new office fan, and it should be up here for a decent while. How old this is, I don't know. It's probably late 70s. So, oh, um, yeah, you can see there's some paint missing on the canopy, too, or paint on it. So that is the new JMP, I'm going to call it a CEC, the new CEC spinner fan for the office. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe and click like if you like what you see. And follow me on the web, wix.com slash the elevator world slash fans. Bye-bye. One other flaw I forgot to mention is that there is a small chip in the blade. Other than that, it works.